Hello, everybody. This is Rob Swatsky from the York campus of Hack. And in this podcast, I'll be reviewing the systemic and pulmonary circulations. When the heart pumps blood, it sends the blood through two circulation routes with every heartbeat the systemic circulation and the pulmonary circulation. The two roots are connected to each other with the blood pumped out of one root and entering the other. The left side of the heart pumps oxygenated, oxygen-rich blood to the body's tissues through the systemic circulation. It receives its oxygenated blood from the lungs. The red color in the diagrams represents oxygenated blood. The right side of the heart pumps deoxygenated blood, oxygen-poor blood, to the lungs. In particular, to the air sacs called the alveoli through the pulmonary circulation. The blue color in these diagrams represents deoxygenated blood. The path of blood flow through the systemic circulation is as follows. The left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the pulmonary veins. The blood is pumped out of the left atrium and passes through the bicuspid, or mitral valve, and enters the left ventricle. The left ventricle contracts and pumps blood through the aortic semilunar valve, or just the aortic valve for short, and into the ascending aorta. Blood then branches out of the aorta into smaller and smaller systemic arteries which deliver blood to all of the body's organs, with the exception of the alveoli of the lungs. Arteries branch into smaller diameter arterioles, which deliver blood into the microscopic systemic capillaries, one cell layer thick vessels found in complex networks with each of the body's organs. The capillaries are where exchange of gases, oxygen is delivered, and carbon dioxide is picked up and nutrients takes place between the blood and the body tissues. The deoxygenated blood then drains into systemic venules, which merge into larger diameter systemic veins. The blood is collected by the superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and the coronary sinus, and delivered into the right atrium of the heart. The path of the blood flow through the pulmonary circulation is as follows. The right atrium receives the deoxygenated blood collected by the systemic veins. The right atrium contracts, sending blood through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. The right ventricle contracts, pumping blood out of the heart through the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary trunk which branches into the right and left pulmonary arteries. The pulmonary arteries carry the deoxygenated blood to the right and left lungs, where carbon dioxide is unloaded into the alveoli and exhaled out of the body. Oxygen is picked up by the pulmonary capillaries from the air during inhalation, which is transported into the right and left pulmonary veins and delivered into the left atrium. It's important to remember that not all arteries carry oxygenated blood, like the pulmonary arteries, and not all veins carry deoxygenated blood, like the pulmonary veins. All arteries carry blood, either oxygenated or deoxygenated, away from the heart, like the pulmonary arteries are carrying blood away from the heart to the right and left lungs. All the veins carry blood, either oxygenated or deoxygenated, back to the heart, like the pulmonary veins are carrying oxygenated blood back to the heart's left atrium, returning from the lungs. In the systemic circulation, the systemic arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart, and systemic veins deliver deoxygenated blood back to the heart. It is the opposite for the pulmonary circulation. 
pulmonary arteries carry deoxygenated blood away from the heart to the lungs, while pulmonary veins deliver oxygenated blood back to the heart.